Here's a list of shows that I never finished because I probably have some kind of disability that won't be diagnosed until I'm 30. I love the ending song of this show, and it's a shame that I only watched three episodes because I thought it was pretty interesting. I mean, it's about a spy that goes on a mission where he has to adopt a psychic daughter, marry an assassin wife. Sounds like a fun adventure. But after those first few episodes, I think I just kind of moved on to something else. I had such high hopes for Haikyuu, man. I've heard so many wondrous tales about how it put volleyball on a lot of people's radars and wow, it made volleyball interesting. And listen, I'm not an avid volleyball watcher, but I respect the sport. I think it's a cool sport. I enjoy the sport. So because of that, I do really want to give this another chance. I only got five episodes in and I was actually enjoying myself. Uh, I just, I cannot tell you why I stopped after five episodes. However, on the plus side, it's already finished, so that probably increases my chances of revisiting it by like 5%. I'm gonna be completely honest, I watched this anime and had absolutely no clue what was going on the entire time. It just, it was random encounter, followed by weird interaction, over and over, and hey, I'm not saying I didn't like it, I'm just saying I didn't know what was going on, I was confused. I, I, to this day, I don't know how I feel about it, and... If anything, this is the one on the list that I'm definitely not returning to. But hey, all I remember is the opening. It was a bop. This is probably the one show that I plan to finish because AOT is such a cult classic. And I mean, I have to catch up in order to participate in all the air and thirst trap TikToks that float around the internet. A lot more than they probably should. Don't lie, you know you've seen them. You know you have. I actually have a valid excuse for not finishing this one because I was watching it with my girlfriend and she said that the end was really depressing so we kind of stopped watching it. She did say that I could finish it on my own but I have a better chance of like, I don't know, Dwayne The Rock Johnson coming into my house and feeding me pudding than I do of finishing this show. Don't ask why, I don't, I don't, next show. This was actually a really interesting show which is why I'm a little sad that I never got to finish it although that was by choice that I didn't finish it. Basically, there's 52 cards with unique abilities because 52 cards are in a deck, and the ones who possess these cards are known as players. Some cards are stronger than others, and it just so happens that the main character Finn's card is the lamest possible card that you could get. His only power is a gun. That's pretty lame. There's some things that he manages to do with it that are pretty cool, uh, except for the time that his orphanage burned down and he couldn't save them. Did I mention that he's an orphan? Yeah, he's an orphan. His um, his card was passed down from like his dead grandpa or something. He meets some friends along the way, like the self-proclaimed Riz Lord, Chris, and this uh, split personality lady named Wendy. Just a general, colorful cast of players. Some of them work for an organization whose goal is to collect all of the cards to keep them out of dangerous hands. And Finn is basically strong-armed into joining them, because his other option was basically death by firing squad. In conclusion, I enjoyed my time with the series, but will likely not be coming back to it because I am mentally ill. Fun fact, I actually used to read this manga with my homie Trey and it was pretty good. Once I inevitably dropped it, I looked to the upcoming anime series to revive my interest and that did not happen. The story basically follows a toilet boy named Hanako and a schoolgirl named Nene as they travel worlds on supernatural exploits. Their goal is to find like the seven wonders of the world or something so that Hanako can become a toilet man instead of a toilet boy. Can you tell that I haven't watched this in a long time? Yeah, this is kind of like a throwaway video idea, so if you came in thinking that I was going to do research, then I'm sorry to disappoint. Anyways, uh, fun show, did not finish, probably never will. I don't even know why I tried to watch this show. I mean, it's Pokemon, I love Pokemon, who doesn't love Pokemon? But I don't know anyone who loved watching it outside of the original anime, Generations, maybe a couple Mewtwo movies, and Detective Pikachu. The show has a cool theme song, like most of them, but I don't think it's something I ever would have been able to stick to. Although I did watch like half of the X and Y anime, but that's just because I wanted all the drama on Serena and Ash. Don't judge me. Season 1 of One Punch Man. It was so whimsical. So fun, so silly, the idea of this guy who just beats all his enemies in one punch. Like, it was, it was genius. Well, I don't know about genius, but it was, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. I mean, I sat through the entire thing in a couple days, came out ready to watch the next season. I was hyped. 
Except everyone who watched season 2 said that it was so par, and that it didn't continue season 1's momentum. There are some pretty die-hard season 2 defenders who will die on the hill that it's actually good. And I mean, maybe it is. Hey, maybe they have a point. But they should have gotten to me first before I saw the controversy that doomed me to never finish the series. The manga art is supreme though. I used to be a Seven Deadly Sins crusader. I watched season one, season two, sub, dub, multiple times, and <laughs> today I can't tell you what happened. Honestly, I think the best thing to come from this anime was the songs and the abridged series on YouTube. I think the characters are interesting. I think the fights are pretty nice. I haven't read the manga for a little bit up until like chapter 270-ish. However, the underperformance of the later seasons combined with me just not really finding it that interesting anymore ultimately resulted in its demise.